Hello, my name is Kushnyur Kmadinai Gazasana and I'm going to teach you lexicology. And the first uh, theme uh, of uh, lecture is lexicology as a science. The plan of the lecture is the origin of the word lexicology, the definition of lexicology, uh, the second item is types of lexicology, the third is lexicology and its connection with other sciences, and number four is the theoretical and practical value of English lexicology. We will begin with the origin of the term lexicology. Uh, it is a Greek word and uh, it, it comes from two uh, words and logos and uh, it means uh, the science of the word. The next is the, the definition of lexicology. Uh, it is the branch of linguistic science and it is connected with words, word groups, phraseological units and morphemes. So it is the science that studies uh, words, the vocabulary of the language and the interconnections between the words, phrases and sentences. The definition of the vocabulary. It denotes uh, the system of words, word groups and uh, the language uh, that language possesses. The next is the, the definition of the term word. What is the basic unit of a vocabulary, the smallest unit of a language? The next is the word group. Word group denotes a group of words which exist in the language as a ready-made unit. It has the unity of a meaning, the unity of syntactical function, and the example is uh, as loose as a goose. It means clumsy. For example, he is as loose as a goose. Next, um, branches of lexicology. Um, the main subdivision of lexicology is general lexicology and special lexicology. And also special lexicology is subdivided into comparative lexicology, contrastive lexicology and applied lexicology. I would like to begin with general lexicology. General lexicology studies linguistic phenomena and properties common to all languages. Uh, languages universals. Next uh, branch of lexicology is uh, special lexicology. It is the lexicology of a particular language. Uh, and uh, it, uh, it is the study and the description of a particular uh, vocabulary and vocabulary units, uh, primarily words as the main units of a language. Special descriptive lexicology. It deals uh, with the vocabulary and vocabulary units of a particular language at a certain time. Next is a special historical lexicology or diachronic lexicology. It deals with the changes or development of vocabulary in the course of time. Comparative lexicology studies close relative languages from the point of view of their identity and differentiation. Contrastive lexicology uh, studies uh, both relative and unrelative languages and establishes differences and similarities. Applied lexicology, that's translation, lexicography, pragmatics of speech. Lexicology, of course, interacting with other languages. They are general linguistic, the history of language, phonetics, stylistics, grammar and some others. Uh, if we take as an example any simple wo word, for example the word uh, desk. Um, from the point of view of phonetics, so the word desk has some sound, so it is related to phonetics. Then from the point of view of grammar, it is just a, a noun and it is a countable noun. And from the point of view of uh, stylistics, it can be, it doesn't have any stylistic coloring, but maybe in some fiction it can have some stylistic coloring. And uh, general linguistic, of course, it is uh, related to it because it's a word and it's a part of the language vocabulary. Now I would like to speak about the practical value of English lexicology. 
uh, anyone who is studying or who is going to study uh, a foreign language has to know lexicology, has to deal with the lexicology. So to understand uh, a language, uh, to speak the language, we have to learn the words, uh, phrases, and we have to be able to make sentences. And if we speak about English language, first of all, it's the world's most widely used language. More than a half world scientific literature is published in the English. The universal uh, language, it is the universal language of international aviation. 60% uh, of the world's radio broadcast in English. So, when we learn lexicology, English lexicology, we can understand the interconnections between words and phrases uh, better and then it is easier to learn the vocabulary. Next, I would like to speak about the theoretical value of uh, English lexicology. Uh, as you know, lexicology is uh, a part of the theory of the language. So the theory of the language consists of vocabulary, grammar and sound system. So, and lexicology, as we know, it, it studies the vocabulary. So during the course of lexicology, uh, you will have a chance to come across different theories related to the language. Uh, language, especially the English language, has been uh, studied uh, since uh, long, uh, for, for a long time and uh, still there are some mysteries which haven't been discovered. And the lexicology, the theoretical value, the, th the theories in lexicology can help maybe to understand um, the, some things better. For example, one of the questions which no, no one knows the answer is uh, who created the words? Who created the sentences? There are different theories, but no one knows the exact, uh, the exact answer. And similar uh, mysteries we will try to cover, to consider during the lexicology, and uh, that is the theoretical value of lexicology. That's the end of uh, lecture number one. Thank you for your attention.